Well, I think the only thing it takes, what makes me think about is how one can keep the business so that it doesn't kill the creativity. There's always been a struggle in the music business between creativity and money. And um, they sometimes come together, but usually they don't. And usually creativity is killed by money or and money generates crap. Um, so, but sometimes they come together and that's what's interesting and that's what's exciting when the people who are enabled to make great music and to do great artistic stuff because the system has provides a way that they can buy the time and the energy and the space and the resources to do something which is of, of great value. Oh, I don't listen to music, I just talk about it. Why not? Um, I think because I spend too long in the music business so that when I listen to things I don't just listen to music like I used to and just listen to it with sort of oh wow I mean I think I start listening to it and thinking oh well that's not a very good recording or that's not that sounds like that and that just sounds like so and so and oh my god what a terrible sound or um, what a great record I wish I was managing that artist you know and things like that and I, 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 I'm contaminated, contaminated by professionalism. <laughs>